Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin Connor and I do lifestyle mommy videos here on YouTube. And today I am going to be going over my favorites for three to six months. I did a video of what I actually used at the hospital and a lot of people seem to like that video. I also did one on my newborn essentials. So I thought might as well keep that train going because I know a lot of you were commenting and saying that you are having babies right around the same time that I did. And so even if you're a little bit behind me, maybe this will give you inspiration of things to look into or they're just Fun to watch to see what other mamas are enjoying during these stages. So my son is past the three to six month mark now, which is crazy. But I just thought I would share some of my favorites, toys, onesies, different things like that, that we use during those months. So to start right off the bat, we have the Love Every play mat. My son has loved this. He has been able to transition through all sorts of playing stages on this mat, through toys and all the interactive things on the mat. I know that this is expensive. You do not need this for your child. I know that a lot of influencers have it. That's what they use. And I was definitely influenced to get it. And I know that it is expensive. And trust me when I say that I know that. It took Black Friday, Target had 20% off on toys. And then my mom and my brother went in together as a Christmas gift and I even pitched in some money. So that's three people and 20% off from Target to get this mat for him. So I understand, again, you don't need it, but um, it was his little Christmas gift from my parents and my brother. So I won't say no to that. And he has loved this play mat. It has been a great investment for our family. The next thing is this little crinkle book. Really, it's just two sides to it, but he loves it. He will just lay there and crinkle it in front of his face for forever. It even has like a little hidden squeaker in it. And he loves that thing that has been 10 out of 10 it's great even in the car keep him entertained we love anything that makes little crinkling noises he has these like little tools that also do that and they're also his favorite so anything that makes noise is great it keeps their attention for a while going along with things that he can play with in his car seat we have this little bunny i'm pretty sure it's from ikea someone gave it to me for my baby shower but he loves that thing we call him mr bun bun and if you've ever seen crazy rich asians there's that scene when astrid walks in and she goes well, doesn't Bun Bun look dashing in his bow? And so we always say that even though he doesn't have a bow, he has a little bandana around his neck. We still say that every time we give it to our son and his car seat and he loves it. He kicks his legs and reaches for him. Um, so that's been great entertainment for him when he's in the car. He loves to chew on the bunny's ears. So whatever keeps him happy. Next thing that he loved during his three to six months, more towards like the five to six month mark, he was still pretty small for it, is his jumper. And you will see there's a blanket on it and we put that blanket behind his back so it sits him up a little bit more so he can reach the toys. Again, it was closer to like the four, five, six month. He was still pretty small at three, it didn't really work out. But that five to six was a sweet point for him to get into it. He loves it. At first he would just kind of like sway back and forth. Um, now that he's a little bit older, he's getting the up and down jump and he loves that thing. And I think it's gonna be his favorite for a long time. If your baby has been swaddled and you need to start transitioning, let me tell you, it is a hard transition. I did the whole, like I would swaddle him in an actual blanket with his hands up. And I did that for a while and that helped him. But then it got to the point where I needed to move from that to letting his arms be free. I tried the little sacks. He hated those because all of a sudden, his hands were free and he was grabbing at his face. He was grabbing at the swaddle and he hated it. And I was like, there has to be something that is in between having their arms wrapped 
and having them completely unwrapped. And that is when I found the Zippity Transition Swaddle. Your baby will look like an adorable little starfish <laughs> in it, but he loves that thing. Um, there is the Zippity brand. There's also knockoffs on Amazon and I have an Amazon one and a Zippity. And that's what he is still using. He is eight months now and he loves it. It, if he's trying to grab at his face, he won't start crying because he scratched it by accident because his hands are still covered. But he still has movement. It's not full movement because it's still a little restricted even though it is stretchy. But those have been a lifesaver for us. And I even told my pediatrician that's what he uses. And she's like, honestly, he could use that for as long as he wants, I guess. She said she knows someone that their like three-year-old still uses it because they just enjoy having their hands more enclosed when they're sleeping. So to each their own. But as of right now, he is loving those. They are great for transition. If they're starting to roll over, they're able to push up and, you know, get their face out of the mattress. So we have been loving those. And again, he always sleeps like with his arms out to the side and he looks like a little starfish and it is so cute. So we love those swaddles. The next is bamboo sleepers. I will say I have one and I didn't even buy it. Someone gave it to me because again, they are a little bit more expensive, but he loves that sleeper. We are starting to get through some nights sleeping all the way through and I give all the credit to that bamboo sleeper. You don't need it. Again, I haven't bought any myself that was gifted to us, but I do, I do see it's enticing. He is about to move up a size and I'm really contemplating I might have to get a bamboo sleeper in the next size too. <laughs> they are just so soft and so comfortable for them to sleep in. Super stretchy, breathable. I don't know. He always sleeps so well in it so I might have to get some more. Next thing is pretty basic. I'm pretty sure all of us have them, are just the short sleeve onesies. And I love those things. You can get really cute ones. He can wear it. He doesn't have to wear pants, but a lot of times I have like little stretchy sweatpants I just put with them and he looks so adorable. And that might be a silly like favorite, but it is my favorite. That's what he's always wearing. That's what he's comfortable in. And they're so cute. And I love seeing his little chunky arms coming out. So yes, shirt onesies. Again, most of us have them and they're a favorite. I love them. One thing I talked about for newborn essentials has carried over into the three to six months and it is his diapers and they are the honest diapers. And again, I tried a couple other brands because there was one point where I was like, I'm not sure if the honest is going to continue working for us, but they're still the best. He is a super peer and it catches all of that. It catches his blowouts. I have had zero issues. And so we love the Honest Diapers and I love that they're a little bit more clean conscious. So that um, makes me feel more comfortable as a mama. Also, these night diapers are absolutely amazing. We started using them around the six month mark and they have been perfect for us. They do so well. I'm so impressed. The next thing is Noodle and Boo Diaper Rash Cream. This diaper rash cream has been a lifesaver. This one is a clear balm instead of like the white normal diaper rash cream. And I like it because I feel like it lasts a little bit longer. I don't know if it's the diapers I have, but when I put like the really, like, you know, the normal like Desitin or the Honest, um, when it's like the white diaper rash cream, I swear that one rubs off really easily. This one is a little bit thicker and I really like that. And I can tell that it stays on longer and that's what you need when you have that diaper rash. So it makes a barrier. So we don't have any more of that wet diaper rubbing against the skin that's already irritated. And the last thing for baby is these washcloths. They are the cloud washcloths. I got these at a baby shower and they are amazing. They are so incredibly soft. They work so well for washing his little body, washing his hair, loves holding them and playing with them even in his bath. So those have been a great lifesaver. We use them every bath and we love them so much because they are so soft and you will want them for yourself.
Then I thought I would go into a couple of things that I've been loving for myself as a mama because I have my favorites too and these might seem kind of silly but I just thought I would add them in there because I want to know what other moms are loving during their fourth trimester postpartum. I mean even I'm, we're eight months into this now um, but you know still at the three to six month like it's still hard. There's still a lot of hard times, a lot of hard nights. So one thing that has been getting me through life is coffee and especially this coffee from Target. I love it. It tastes so good. I have a Keurig. That's just what we have at home right now. And it tastes so good with a little bit of a hazelnut creamer, a little bit of sugar. That's what I have every morning in my coffee mug is going to be that coffee. And I love it so much. I never run out of it. If I start seeing that I'm a tiny bit low, I'm running to Target and getting some more. It is such great coffee. Anyways, silly, but it's been keeping me going. Another thing for me is dry shampoo and this one from Odell or Odell I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, is amazing. I love the application for it. I love that it's just like puffs into your hair. It's really easy to work into my hair. It doesn't leave a white cast because I mean I have dark hair and you can't tell that I've used it. It barely has any smell but if I do smell it it's just a very very light scent. It doesn't make my head itchy at all. I used to use another loose powder dry shampoo and I liked it but I could tell after a couple of hours of having it in my hair it would make my head so itchy so i used pretty much that whole entire bottle but got to the point where i was like i can't do this i would wake up in the middle of the night like scratching my head which is probably not good but i still used the whole bottle because i'm not gonna waste it but this new dry shampoo i am loving it works really really well it was 12 bucks and it's on like ulta's more like clean conscious i'm not sure how clean it is um but it works really well and I've been loving it, so give it a try. And then my last mommy favorite is my Bible. My faith is really important to me and honestly, I don't think I would have gotten through some of these tough months without a lot of prayer. Me praying and others praying for me, my husband praying for me and reading my Bible. We recently moved, but before we moved, our church was handing out these read through a Bible in a year um little pamphlets that you could go through and chuck off the days and that has been so good for me it's a good reminder because i see it a lot and i'm like oh yeah i really need to read my bible today <laughs> it's nice because i'm definitely a person that like gets that boost of serotonin when i'm like oh i checked that off my list um so that has also been a little bit motivating for me but truly i don't think i would have gotten through these months without all the prayer from family and friends and my relationship with the Lord. Um, he has carried me through a lot and brought me through a lot and just reading some encouraging Bible verses. It's really helped me through this postpartum because I can't lie, it's been kind of rough for me. Um, you know, us as mamas, especially with social media nowadays, it's that bounce back. You should have your baby and in two weeks you should be out getting coffee, going out with friends, going on vacation, have your summer body, have your abs back. Like girl, I never even had abs before I had my baby. So I'm definitely not that bounce back mama that's gonna have that hot bod <laughs> right off the bat. And I probably won't ever because I didn't have it before. I was healthy but I don't have the ripped abs because that's just not really how my body really ever worked. But I want you to know that if you are in a tough spot and you might listen to this and be like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna hear this again. But there are brighter days ahead and there will be some dark days in there too. But it's kind of like if you've ever seen Inside Out, how when they look at the wall of the core memories, how a lot of them are joy, but there's going to be some sadness and some anger and some anxious in those days of joy. But overall, you have your baby and your bundle of joy. And I hope that you can find happiness in that. And also find friends and joy in little things like flowers. I love flowers and adding some color into your home. Um, I just hope that 
you are doing well in your postpartum journey. And if you're not, reach out to me. I would love to pray for you. Like I said, prayer and my faith have gotten me through a lot and hopefully I can help in any sort of little way. Anyways, ending on a little bit of a deeper note, but I just wanted to share my experience because again, through social media, a lot of people you just see are bouncing right back. They're doing great. They're thriving. And there's a lot of us that aren't. And it takes time and it's a lot of a learning curve. And I've always been kind of a control person and there you don't have a ton of control at this stage in your life it's every day it brings on a new challenge a new thing lots of wins some losses but just in case anyone was going through a harder time i want you to know that you are not alone so I hope that you enjoyed this little video of my favorites. Maybe there are some things that I talked about that are your favorites and maybe you're about to be in this three to six month stage and you might take some inspiration for what I talked about today. Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed. I always say we have a little friendship going here on YouTube. Um, so I hope that you would join our little friendship and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.